Hello and welcome to Facebook Live. This week we are discussing, particularly today on Wednesday, we are discussing the current brand new episode of Ed, the Everyday Mindfulness Show. And so we're going to tell you what that show is about, who is on it, so you can go listen to it today on iTunes. Now that show features two cast members who have been on before, uh, both people I know very well, and that's going to be Rick Clemens and Phil Gerbacek. And they bring some brilliance to the discussion of quitting. You know, a lot of times in our culture, we're told, don't quit. And children are told, never be a quitter, never be a quitter. The worst thing you can ever do is be a quitter. And what we do with Phil and Rick is have a discussion on, is that true? Or is that maybe one of the worst things we can teach kids is to never quit? Uh, And what does it mean to quit? I think that's something that gets into people's minds. And what does that do? Think about it if you ran a business and your mindset was, I'm never going to quit anything. Well, then when would you know when things were working and not working? And when would you stop doing the things that are not working so you could focus on the things that are working? And that's just a business example that has some common sense to it. So we're really going to explore in this episode, and that means this as in this week's episode of the Everyday Mindfulness Show, quitting. What does it mean? When is a good time to quit maybe? Or is there such a thing as a good time to quit? We're going to explore that. And we're going to explore it with Rick Clemens, Phil Gerbacek. Now, if you don't know about them, each of them bring a very different perspective to the conversation. And that's what I love about our cast is that they do that. Now, before we go any further, some of you might be wondering, hey, Mike, where do I find this current episode on the Everyday Mindfulness Show about quitting? Where do I find that? Well, there's a couple ways you can find the episode. One is go to everydaymindfulnessshow.com. So that's everydaymindfulnessshow.com. When you go there, every episode's on the website. The most recent episode is at the top of the website. So it makes it really easy. Hey, Todd, thanks for joining me today on the video. Todd's one of our cast members who's also been on a few episodes. And, and he does Zen Parenting Radio. And so uh, what you want to do is you want to go to everydaymindfulnessshow.com. And when you get there, the last episode, the most recent episode, will be right there. Now, what Lisa did to help right there, the show producer, is she just put the link in the comments. So you can click right to the link of this episode. So if you look in the comments right now, you'll see Lisa Baker King posted a link directly to the most recent episode that's on our website. So that's one way you can find the show. Another great way to find the show is go to iTunes. Go to podcast, type in Everyday Mindfulness Show. When you type that in, either you're going to see the show come up like our logo or you're going to see episodes come up, a listing of episodes, and you can pick which one. We're already on episode seven. So this is episode seven that you're about to watch about Are You a Quitter? Uh, And that leads to some great conversations on whether quitting is a good thing or not a good thing. So iTunes is a fabulous way. And let me tell you why iTunes is really a great way to find the show. When you're on iTunes and you're at Everyday Mindfulness Show, you can hit subscribe. And when you hit subscribe, every episode's going to automatically be downloaded into your iPhone, your computer, wherever you listen to your shows. It'll automatically be downloaded every week. So you have to do anything. Just when you want to listen to the next episode, just turn on your phone or go to iTunes on your computer, whatever way you listen, and it will be there every single week, just like that. I was snapping my fingers, but it was below screen, so you couldn't see that. Uh, Just like that. Uh, We want to make it as easy for you as possible. So what Lisa just did is Lisa just put the link directly to iTunes so you can subscribe to the Everyday Mindfulness Show and listen to every episode. Hey, Josh, thanks for joining us. Uh, Josh and I go way back to our days at Loyola University in the theater department. Uh, So many great times in friendship there. So thanks for joining me, Josh. We're just talking about the current episode of Everyday Mindfulness Show and the fact that we are discussing quitting. And when is a good time to quit? Is there such a thing as a good time to quit? And so that's where it becomes interesting. And if you're watching the video right now, you can leave comments on how you view quitting. What does quitting mean to you? Does quitting mean walking away from something? Or does quitting mean walking away too early? What are those concepts? And we're gonna explore that in this episode of the Everyday Mindfulness Show. Now I said earlier that we had two cast members on the show. 
Phil. And Phil brings a unique perspective because he works with companies all over, particularly in the social media realm, but in other realms too. And so he sees projects that are begun and when they're stopped and when they're not. And he works with speakers and other experts to try to help them achieve their goals. So quitting is something he deals with, right? And working with his clients. Similarly, Rick is a coach. So he works directly with people in their lives and helping them with their lives. And so he also sees quitting and people not willing to quit, maybe people quitting too soon. And so having these two on led to a great conversation on, on when is a good time to walk away? Uh, when is it healthy to quit? Why do we have this stigma in our head about quitting? Like, why do we do that to ourselves? Uh, and it leads to some great insights and even some skill sets for each of us to watch out for in our own lives to know when it's okay or is it okay to quit and, and maybe to release some of the negative stigma we have about that idea because uh, quitting is not necessarily a bad thing. And that's what we're going to explore in that episode on iTunes. Once again, uh, the show is Are You a Quitter? The actual episode is Are You a Quitter? The show is the Everyday Mindfulness Show at everydaymindfulnessshow.com. Hi, Megan. Thanks for joining. Wendy, thanks for joining. And I love this because, for instance, Megan knew me 19 years ago when I was her high school coach. And we definitely had these conversations with, with athletes about, you know, going for your goals and pursuing them. Uh, and so we want to, uh, we want to be able to discuss that on pursuing those dreams, but also letting yourself know when it's the right time to walk away. And should you be feeling like you're a quitter or not a quitter? Thanks, Heather, for joining us. We're talking about quitting. And whether it's your personal life or your professional life, the stigma that people can feel about quitting can be devastating. Like they can really feel like they were somehow a loser because they quit something. And sometimes quitting something can be the greatest thing. Think about a, maybe a relationship that you quit that really freed your life. It can be very, very powerful. Bill, thanks for joining us. Uh, it's wonderful to see you on the Facebook Live here today. But think about where quitting released you of something in your life. And so then the balance is, when is the right time to quit? When is walking away too soon? Which we're going to discuss in this episode, but I don't want to give away the episode. You've got to go check it out. iTunes, Everyday Mindfulness Show. That's the podcast, Everyday Mindfulness Show. This episode is Are You a Quitter? Episode 7. Check it out. If you don't have iTunes, then make sure you go to the website, everydaymindfulnessshow.com. By the way, Stephen, thanks for joining us. Now, here's irony. Steve and Heather went to high school together. Stephen is my trainer, one of my trainers. By the way, Stephen, I was in there today, just so you know. Uh, and talking about quitting, hey, that's a good example. What about our personal fitness? When is it okay to walk away from a situation that's not helping? Like maybe we think, I've got to do this because it's going to get me where I want to go. But we're doing too much. And we need to quit a little bit to free ourselves up and have a healthier, vibrant perspective. Uh, Kevin, thanks for joining us. Kevin's a great example right now. Because Kevin had something come into his life that he never saw coming. It was, a, it was when a vehicle hit him. I mean, you don't expect that in your life. And he made choices about quitting, right? Because do I go on? Do I not go on? People told Kevin, you know, what he would be and wouldn't be able to do. And he's proven that wrong time again, time again. So that goes out to you, Kevin. Kudos. It's fantastic what you've done uh, with triathlons, everything. It's just amazing. So we want to be able to have those conversations of when is it okay to quit? When is it not? And when you're on that journey of, all right, I'm going to pursue this over here. Maybe I got to let go of that over there for this to take place. That's the kind of conversation we're going to have on this episode. I can't, I can't keep giving away secrets, so you got to watch the episode. So go to iTunes. Make sure you get every day mindfulness show. Um, oh, you know what? Lisa's asking me before we finish up this video. If I quit anything that some said I should have finished. Ugh, lots. Yeah, I have. And I think one of the things that uh, we need to when you think about quitting, you have to think about is just be honest that you're quitting. Like, this is what I need to do. I, in the past, sometimes would walk away from something knowing I needed to walk away from it, but I didn't own that process. I just walked away from it. And you got to own that. So it's clear to everybody, I'm no longer in that channel over there. So they're not wondering, hey, where are you? Where are you? Then you, then this quitter gets us negative because there, there was no clear boundary established. Uh, but yes, for instance, um, I've quit a mentality that I needed to quit. Lisa was asking if something I've had to quit. I used to think I need to work out every day. 
And one of the things I learned is that with my lifestyle, the way I'm on the road, I'm performing multiple days in a row in a different state every day, that my trainers and, my, and the people that I work with to create wellness in my life said, hey, hey, you, the worst thing you can do sometimes is work out. Like you need to quit that mentality of every day I must work out 30 minutes a day like everyone thinks. Your life and the way you're built and your vibrancy and the way you perform, you got to let that go and instead focus on when is the right time to work out, when is the right time to have that strength and that vibrancy. And allowing myself to quit that mentality, let that go, has brought me to a place where I'm stronger and healthier than I've been it, since probably I was a college athlete, actually stronger physical strength, stronger even then. All right, so that's really great. Um, and Todd, you're asking, what do you say to parents who say that you might be teaching your kids the wrong message? So they'll end up being a quitter. That's what we're going to talk about in the episode. So I'm not going to give that away, Todd. You got to watch the episode for that because we actually talked directly about that, which is this parent mentality of telling kids you can't be a quitter versus telling kids, hey, There's a difference in quitting and recognizing when something's not right in your life. There's a big difference. If the first time something's difficult and you walk away, all right, you quit without really intentionally quitting and knowing why you're making the choice, huge difference, right? That's just walking away before you know the truth, before you've given it a real shot. And I think that's what parents fear, that the kid's going to walk away before they've given it a shot. So instead of saying to kids, don't be a quitter, Make sure you fully invested yourself in this and you gave yourself the absolute shot to understand it, learn it, experience it before you make that choice. That's different. That gives them a better place, a foundation to make good choices. So I'm glad you asked that question because that, that's a great question. So thank you, Todd, for that. Appreciate that. We need to help so kids lose that stigma because when you get it as a kid, it just stacks up more and more and more as you get older. I can't be a quitter. I can't be a quitter. And people just don't walk away from things they should walk away from. Catch the episode, Are You a Quitter? Episode 7, iTunes, Everyday Mindfulness Show. That's what you look up under podcast or go to the website, everydaymindfulnessshow.com. Thank you, everybody, for joining me on this video. If you're watching it later in the day, keep putting comments in there, asking questions, because it could lead to future episodes where we go even deeper. Maybe we discuss this next year again. We like to do that, bring it back around. Your comments help us see that. Thanks, everybody. Have an awesome day. And once again, Everyday Mindfulness Show.